wasn't working anymore. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Greg Gutfeld, along with Kimberly Guilfoyle, Bob Beckel, Eric Bowling, and she part-times as a Monopoly game piece. It's Dana Perino, The Five. If you're against the president's action on immigration, you're obviously a selfish jerk. You hate foreigners, babies, foreigners, babies. <laughs> but what of its selfless report supporters? Oh, look at them. The Republicans who are criticizing the president for this executive action ignore the fact that 11 previous presidents have done exactly the same thing. It does not tear up the Constitution, and you will well, see, you know, I, everyone will see conclusion. that it does I'm asking. The president has great authority in the law to take these actions and great precedent of so many um, presidents. We have the business community, the Bibles, and we have the badges. Law enforcement saying, let's do this right. Please, this isn't about what's right, it's about power. Democrats would grant a bag of Cheetos amnesty if it won elections. Of course, the New York Times calls Obama's executive action a triumph of lawful order over chaotic status quo. But would they feel the same if in 2017, President Walker pulls a similar power move like fracking Martha's Vineyard? The media loves executive action when it's their guy. We know immigration helps America. Good, honest people, please come. The problem, saying stay to millions without closing the doors after leads to repeat business. Who knows, maybe if we enforced our laws, Mexico might ask why their citizens are fleeing. If I were their president, I'd wonder why I only see my citizens from behind. So hooray for dreamers, but what of the doers, those legal immigrants who followed the law, waited in lines, filled out papers, went to interviews and wrote checks? Ever been to an immigration office? The air is stale, the lines crawl, the music is always Maroon 5. So who speaks for those people? Not Obama, he only acts on two things, a phony crisis when he claims something's broken and a real crisis when he inevitably breaks something. No wonder he doesn't mind being called emperor. We've heard uh, this kind of rhetoric about lawlessness from the House Republicans for some time. I know that their most recent statement referred to Emperor Obama. It's something that Republicans are critical of, and that's you know, maybe a criticism that the president wears with a, with a badge of honor. So he wears the title emperor as a badge of honor, maybe because it's all he's wearing, America. Oh, wow. <laughs> See? Yeah, so a little clothes, emperor without clothes, clothes, clothes kind of thing going on there. No yeah. one could tell him. No, oh, yeah, nobody could tell him. tell him. He has a badge. Our audience understood the joke. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I, needed, I wasn't trying to spell it out. Or, you know what? Forget it. This well, segment's it's, over. Because I mean, they're smart. Some of the people who watch me, I, I was trying to help them out. <laughs> you were acting it out? Yeah, You're like, well, mm, you know, the emperor oh. has no clothes. No one can tell badge. the emperor that he has no Excuse me, emperor, you have no clothes. I think that's a crazy statement. I played that role in a play once. No, that wasn't a play. That was a weekend at somebody's oh, it house. Was. Okay, no, that was sorry. someone's worst right. nightmare. Weekend at Beckles. Yes. Uh, yeah, he's barely alive. Dana, Weekend you were saying, what a ridiculous comment. No, I said I thought it was a crazy comment. Okay. Is that the same thing? It might be. Um, I don't know. I, I know that when you're standing at the podium, it is, it, maybe th that was supposed to be a flip comment. I don't think it's necessarily, they don't mis maybe take themselves that seriously. Yeah. I don't think they, it also just is. You would never have said come that. Back. I would never have said that. Yeah. I just never, I, I I'm speechless. You are, and just that is rare. It's not good since I'm supposed to be on a TV yeah, show. Yeah, you're paid to talk, so you're fine. I'm trying not to be critical of so them, but I just feel like they put all their chips on crazy town responses today. <laughs> yes. Eric, what about the New York Times? Do you think they would be defending a Republican pulling the same kind of executive action or any similar kind? No, I, I can't. Can I have a little fun with Bob? Sure. Yes, please do. Bob, what, in this, <laughs> what, what makes you Yay. think President Obama can grant amnesty to 5 million people? And I'm holding the Constitution right now before you answer. <laughs> it makes your hand look he huge. Could, he yeah, could, he could pardon you if you were a murderer. No, okay, so it's Article 2 that they cite. Article 2, Section 1, and this is it. The executive power shall be vested in the President of the United States of America. That's the extent that with, at which President Obama is now using the Constitution to say he can do this. I don't see where it says he can change a law, where he can legislate. He can unilaterally say, I want 5 million people to be legal, even though they've already broken the law. What if, what if he decides it's well, 20 million people? Well, well, why not, why first, not why stop at five? First of all, you know, all immigration is funded by fees, not by the Congress of the United States. That's number one, because Republicans no, no, just, specifically just, are out front just, trying to get just, the... Just tell me where... They want to cut just the, show me where he has the right to... He well, has the right to pardon anybody. Where do you read this? Because I read it. He has the right to pardon anybody. 
has anybody pardon? Wait, oh, so let me... he's, a, he's gonna have a blanket pardoning. The, now we're gonna pardoning. call it what it is. Look, look. It's pardoning five if million you, people. Yesterday, pardoning. yesterday, you all came back with a very weak response about the Republicans saying that Reagan and Bush did not. No, you didn't this. listen. No, no, I listened. When you listen, you didn't listen to Durbin talk about eleven. Uh, different yes. presidents in a row. The fact of the matter is what Bush did and what Reagan did was to say, all right, we missed it. The Congress missed it. They should have put the families of these but people. But they were working with Congress. That's yeah. the difference, Bob. They were working in conjunction and, with Congress. And what Obama did was it's to not. take, the, it was in it's the same so vein, was to take these people and put them in because the Congress of the United States is dysfunctional. Of course, it's in the hands of the Republicans. That's an oxymoron. But they uh, weren't for a while the there, were they? Not even, oh, they, they're not even. Oh, my God. Who was in charge for, in the beginning? That's how we got Obamacare. Passed it, passed it, passed it. The Republicans refused to pass it. He's a and lone what did he do when he had litigator. both houses, please? This is huh? crazy, crazy town. President Obama is a lone wolf litigator. There's, he, they, he's not working with Congress. He's working on his own. That's the difference between well, Reagan but, and Bush. But, you know, certain, certain points, well, I, I would argue about that, but, uh, but uh, the, uh, well, at a certain point, you have to say, that when you try to work with Congress and you look at this Congress, you can't work with them. That means you have to try everything within the law to go around Bob, them. Can I ask and you this something? is within the law. As a president of the United States, why is he doing this? What's the reason behind he's it? Because he got the right to Does do it, it. But is it supported by the will of the American people? Is he listening because to the voters, it, the taxpayers, listen, the legal you citizens? Know, if you ask this question, only, American, wait, yeah. wait, if you ask the people, the American people, yesterday it. the poll we used said, that 48% uh, of the people oppose executive Correct. action. Correct, 38 If you put on that poll that these people that will stay have got kids who are here, who are, who are on, the, on the dream group, or kids who were born here, then I think the, the support would go way, way up. Look, the underlying poll numbers here said that people support the idea of immigration. Yeah, of course, but that's not immigration. That's granting amnesty to people who came here illegally. And that's a difference. By the way, your rap on your, on your monologue said, the, what about the poor people that got in line and the rest right. of it? These people get behind them. How do we know? Are they going to get better? No, they don't. Where are you getting that from? No, they don't because they, they, yeah. they're not being deported. They're absolutely not being deported you now. Now they're breaking yeah. the law. So they they will not get to be citizens so, so you're before the other. My, my you're wife had to do all, all this stuff before she came to the United States. You're going to say he's, do it all. he's granting and pardon to five million people. Is that what you're saying? I said what he's doing is granting right. them the right no, to no, stay No, no, you have to call it pardon because if you say amnesty, it, it, he's breaking the law. Why is question, he breaking the law? What if he says, I'm against uh, the, the fines for drugs? Then why wasn't Reagan offenses? breaking the law? What? He was. This is hard he was. Ask. Okay, Reagan yeah. was. Okay, I'm glad you said that. Bush was. Doesn't make it right now, though. Well, okay. I, yeah, I want to ask you. As long as you admitted those Reagan and Bush broke so the law. So it's, no, it's okay listen, to do it now. By the way, don't admit you that. You're not listening said, to us. Stop blaming Bush. I, I don't know. No, no, I said right. you guys will always say that. I want to ask Dana. Dana, I want to uh, throw to a sot of some angry conservatives because we don't have enough of them. At this And then I want to get your take on what Republicans should do next. Let's roll this tape, please. Do it. He needs to remember who he works for. It looks more like a dictatorship when a president is unilaterally making decisions for the American people. History will treat him unkindly on this if he thinks he can become king. We are unfortunately witnessing a constitutional crisis. It's incumbent on Republicans in Congress to use every single constitutional tool we have to defend the rule of law, to reign in a president so that the president does not become an unaccountable monarch. This president went from once talking about the audacity of uh, hope to the audacity of the power grab. What should Republicans do? I'm a, I might be an outlier on this. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Um, I think Republicans are really boxed in. Really? Um, I do. Uh, because I, I don't think that we'll have the answer to the constitutional question for years. In yeah. time. At this point, the president, I think, has the prosecutorial discretion to do what he's doing. I, I think that he could, he'll, they'll figure out a way, the lawyers will give him some cover right. on that. And besides, by the time it gets to the courts, mm -hmm. then who's going to be the person that stands up and says they're going to take away this from the, fi right. the five and million people who have already been on. here? Exactly. Definitely. And also, when President Obama genius. came out the day after the election, he said that the real lesson from the midterm election was that Washington must work together. Uh, from a political standpoint, I agree, it is, it is a strange way to react when your first action is to do something that is absolutely poisoning the well to get a lot of other good things done. What I do think that Republicans will do is to keep their heads. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a lot of other legislation that needs to get done uh, from a, a jobs perspective, jobs, jobs, jobs. Um, I don't understand why the administration is not just going ahead and doing the, the 12 million. Mm -hmm. Because once you do five, why don't you just do 12? Right. Because then what's the question right. of human, what's humane and what is fair? 
Um, and so maybe they'll figure out a way to do an end run around that. But I do think that the Republicans, you, if you cannot stop the president from doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, the first, the, I was so curious about, uh, the, forget the guy's name who did that, it was the uh, czar of Obamacare, but anyway, Gruber. I saw the American people. <laughs> uh, the uh, yeah. the first 42 members of the, of the Congress that were invited down to the White House when Obama was elected were Republicans, and he wanted to work with them. And did they work with them for six years? They did nothing. Oh, baloney. Oh, Bob, I baloney mean, that what? is... Well, Bob, you're in a parallel is, universe. Yeah. It's, it's just, and it's a, a weird you, one. I mean, you're a lot more thoughtful than oh. that statement. Yeah. I mean, oh, wait, yes, he invited you are. them down to try to work and, with and them. What happened? And then, and had, then gave had, them the you-know-what yeah. every day after oh, that. Whoa, Dana. Dana, you're going to get bleeped. You can be very cordial. You can say, I want to work with with you. Yeah. Meanwhile, well, when you have the House and the Senate in your pocket, it doesn't matter what you what you say you're going to do. Gosh. It matters what, what gets legislated. You know, we got we got Obama here. Yes. We almost Come got a carbon on. tax. You are, you are and smarter and more thoughtful well, no, and more second. well aware wait, wait than second. that. Wait a second. I believe He's firmly, argue against that. I believe firmly <laughs> that the President of the United States made an effort to work with Republicans. I know. And well, okay, you know what? You can believe that, but more than half of the country thinks that he did not. Well, more and than half the country voted than, president for second term, did they? Yeah, but more, but everybody that wanted, that, that watched, most presidents get a second term. It's very rare that they don't. But in the midterm elections, that answer, the, 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 the central lesson of that midterm is not Washington must work together. It was stop President Obama from doing things that we do not want. The, the, uh, you know, it's just like banging your head against the, the wall. The, There's a, the reason you said, can't oh. work with people is because they have this notion that President Obama was stymied at every... President Obama absolutely could have changed the way that Washington worked. He could have done it. He was he so didn't. popular, and he chose not to. And you think he could have gotten Because it's not in his DNA. Him. You really believe that? This what? whole thing is that is why going they, the wrong they way. To it's supposed to start in the house. Why could... Why, yeah, why why revenue bill? Yes, they're absolutely... Yeah, why does... Why does he have a say? Well, we said we try to baffling. work together. We said we try to work together. Why well, don't we try to work baffling together? Baffling Bob Beckel. I want to ask Kimberly. Essentially, what he's done is he's, he's emptied the basket of a certain, you know, of, of a group. What what have we done to make sure that that doesn't get refilled? Nothing. No, nothing. Because our borders aren't secure. So this is just going to be rinse and repeat, mm -hmm. rinse and repeat, the same thing over again. It is rewarding people who are breaking the law, who have gone around and saying, you know what, you can stay here anyway because you had a baby here. This is not the okay, right can way I ask to you do a question. it. What you would have you do to with respect the, five the laws people? of this country. What would you do with the five million people? You know what, Bob, there's a better way to do it than the president with no. the stroke of a pen saying, I'm going to give some kind of phony them? amnesty to put everyone in without a thoughtful get in economic all ask approach. You to do is answer my question. Take what the cue like the deli line, get a number and get in line and so Right. Get out of the secure. country, right? Get no, out of the country. listen to me. I would do this the right way. I yep. would put the horse before the cart. I would secure the border and make sure that we don't have this problem repetitive, like a chronic illness. We need to make sure that it is shut down, and then we can establish so a you, proper system. And any bill that raises revenue has to start in the House. If you, so even it, doing it doesn't this take the revenue to do immigration. But, but, uh, so you're saying the it five years should stay here under different circumstances? Or, you know, it would be really I'm cool. telling you that this is not the time or the approach. Period. What would be cool is uh, to find a way maybe to uh, diminish the amount of money that illegal immigrants sent back to their country because something tells me if you do that, a lot of them will leave. That's maybe. an interesting point. Is that a lot? Could you do that, though? I don't know. I just thought of it now. If they're, yeah, I sure, mean, if, if you were an emperor, I mean, maybe you could. Yeah, maybe I could no, sign you could, that you it's could if they're illegal. If they're illegally in the country, they can't not allow to send U.S. currency over, yeah. overseas. That's, that's obviously happening. All right, much more to come next on Obama's immigration plan, so stay tuned.